Hello everyone, today I'm going to be covering an example of an operation with a matrice and it's going to be an inconsistent system of equations and you'll be able to see that from the matrix. Uh, this is not meant to teach the concept, it's just to give an example. So if you'd like to actually learn the concept, please let us know or check out another video on YouTube. So these are our three equations. Um, they're going to be equations of planes, and you can see here, we just uh, put the coefficients of everything into the matrix. So like for the first row, it's going to be 2x minus y plus 3z equals 7, sorry, minus, equals 7, yeah, uh, as the equation of plane 1 says. Alright, so in the second step, we divide row 1 by 2, and the reason for that is, we want to achieve uh, ones diagonally, so to get the first element to be one, we gotta divide two by two. So you gotta divide the whole row by two, and that's what we did here. So two divided by two gives you this, negative one divided by two gives you this, three divided by two gives you this, and seven divided by two gives you this. All right, in the next step, um, you want to get zeros in the first column. So what you did, what we did to the second equation, we multiplied it by negative 4 because we wanted to eliminate this. So negative 4 times row 1 because the first element multiplied by negative 4 is going to give you negative 4 and when you add those together it's going to give you 0. And we, and we do that to the rest of the row. So negative 4 times negative 1 half is going to cancel with negative 2 and give you 0. Same idea with 3 over 2. So we apply the operations here to get this, and we apply it to the bottom, multiplying this first row by, by 6 to cancel it out with negative 6 here, and just so happens that everything else cancels. And this is an indi in indication that the system is inconsistent, and or does not have a solution, because it's implying that 0x plus 0y plus 0z equals negative 1, which is not possible. Alright, so in the next step, your cal graphing calculator, or any calculator that can do this operation, is going to put it in reduced row echelon form. And what that is, is every the first non-zero element in every row must be positive 1. So it's kind of trivial, multiplying this row by negative 1 to get it to positive one, but that's what your calculator would do. And then you want to, uh, then in the next step, you want to eliminate this term. So we, what we did, we multiplied this one by negative seven over two. So all of row two is multiplied by negative seven over two and added to row one. But negative seven over two times zero is zero, so it doesn't affect the other terms. The only term it's going to affect is this one and the one we are trying to eliminate. So, once we're here, we definitely know that this system is inconsistent and does not have a solution. Alright, I hope that was helpful to you guys. And if you have any comments, please leave them in the comment section below. And thank you so much for watching. And we will have more educational videos coming your way soon. Thanks.